Today I'm going to be talking about the jet engine cycle, which is also sometimes known as the Brayton cycle. Um, as you can see here, I have a rough drawing of a turbojet engine. And in this engine, um, basically what happens is this air is going to come into the inlet here. And I'll explain what these numbers here at the bottom of the engine are later. And it's going to come into this inlet and it's going to hit uh, this compressor here. And this compressor, its job is to raise the pressure of the incoming air. It needs to do that in order to heat the air up and also it burns better when the pressure is high. So once the air is pressurized, it is then forced into the burner section or combustion section, it's called both where fuel is added and it is lit and you get your combustion. Your combustion causes your, your air and fuel mixture to rapidly and violently expand which is going to force the air out through the turbine and the turbine is basically the opposite of the compressor. Instead of being driven and spinning and sucking air in and compressing it it is being pushed by the air wanting to leave the burner section and that air flowing through those blades is causing it to spin. It's basically the same concept as blowing on a fan. If you blow on a fan it's going to move and it's going to turn the fan blades. Basically the same idea. So once it goes through the turbine, this turbine is now taking the power that the burner is, is is created and it's converting it to mechanical shaft horsepower and that is what is turning this turbo shaft which is this part right here which turns the compressor and the cycle repeats. The exhaust is then blown out through the nozzle which is going to give you your thrust. So that's basically very basic idea of what happens inside of a jet engine. Now like I said earlier this particular one that I drew right here is a turbo jet. Now there are many different configurations um, of, of jet engines and I'll explain those in another video. But, th but this is a turbo jet here. Now what these stations are are simply uh, ways of labeling the different locations inside of the jet engine so that we can we can calculate things if we need to and, and we can label variables and whatnot. Um, you'll learn uh, jet engine um, classes if you t if you take them in college and stuff and, and you'll learn these what they're called station numbers and and that way we can we can write equations that that we let's say we we're analyzing um, the temperature change between station three and four then we're gonna have variables like temperature total of station 3 etc stuff like that so that's what those are and I will be using those later on in other videos thanks